Hi everyone, I'm Joanna. I'm a product manager here at Teachable, and I'm going to show you how to use the lesson editor for your courses. So I'm in the curriculum page for my course, and I'm going to add a new lesson to the course. So I can select new lesson here. It's going to give me the option to change the name of that lesson. In this case, I'm just going to hit save and open it up. Great, and you'll see in the right side of the screen, I get a menu full of all of the different types of content that I can add to my lesson. So I'll show you an example of these different content blocks. I can select text and images, and I have the option to select the AI assistant here, so I can either just type right into this box or I can use that AI assistant to help me figure out what I want to include. So let's say in this case I want to include materials for good study practices. And I can generate some text here. Okay. And now it's giving me a bunch of uh, text that I can use. I can go through and edit this if I want it to be smaller. And then I can also add images here. So let's say I want to have an image of a notebook. Great upload. Now I've got that image here and I'm going to hit save. And now that text and image block is showing up in my lesson. If I want to preview what that looks like, I just hit the preview button. Now I can see what it looks like in my actual course. And then if I want to go back, I'll hit edit and admin. And now let's say I want to add some additional content here. I can add content, just click that button at the bottom, and then I can select a different item here. If I want to add video, I can do that. I can also embed a video. So if I have a video from Vimeo or YouTube that I want to include, I can add that here. Let's just say in this case, I want to upload a video. It's just a screen recording I took earlier today, but for an example, this will work. Great. And now that video is just going to take a little bit to get set up. While that video is processing, I can also add settings. So I can upload a thumbnail if I want. I can add subtitles. So I can auto-generate subtitles in different languages. Let's say I want to add sub subtitles in English. I can do that. I'm just going to have to wait until the video is done processing. And then I can choose whether or not I want my students to be able to download that link as well. So in addition to videos, I can also add PDFs. Let me just show you what that looks like. And PDF here. Great. That's going to show up in a PDF viewer. I can also choose to download to make that downloadable or not. Okay, so I can also add other types of content like audio. Show you what that looks like. Here's an example. That's going to show up in an audio player. I can add banner images, resources, which will just be files that the user can then download. I can add a code example. Let me show you what that would look like. So let's say I have some code that I want my users to be able to see. I can add that in. And now when I preview, you can see here's the PDF viewer. Here is my audio file, and then my code example is going to show up so that students can actually see the code if that's what they're learning about. And let's see what else I can add here. I can also embed media. So I mentioned before, when you add a video, you can choose to embed from YouTube or Vimeo. You can also use this embed media block to add Vimeo, YouTube, Loom, Google Docs, or Typeform files. And so here's an example. I have my YouTube video. I'm just going to copy the URL and then go back here. That embed. Great. And now that video is embedded into my lesson. I can also add quizzes. So quizzes I can add manually. I can say, what is the for answer two, four, one, and then I'm going to select a correct answer and then hit save. Now you can see that quiz is in my lesson. I can also generate questions using AI. So I can use the AI assistant and say, I want to make a quiz based on maybe a previous lesson. 
and then I'm going to generate questions. It's just going to take a second and my questions are going to generate here. Great. And now I have questions that I can use in my quiz. I can edit these if I want. Save. And that'll just help make the process of creating assessments about your quizzes a lot faster. On our pro plan, you can also select to have this quiz graded. That's going to record the scores, and I can choose whether or not I want the correct answer to show. So if I want students to retake this course multiple times, maybe I don't want to show them which answer is correct on that quiz. Let's go back here. And then I can also add open-ended questions here. So open-ended questions could be something that the student will type to respond or provide a file. So I can say something like, how did you like module one of the course? If I want to get feedback, I can have this be a required question. And I can also allow students to upload a file. There's my embedded video. There's my quiz. Here's my short answer question. Let's go back and edit this again. And now if I want to add some additional content, I can add um, upsells or referrals. So maybe I want to give my students the um, option to purchase another product from my school. So maybe I want to upsell them on a template. Save that. Okay. And now that's going to appear in my lesson. I can also add referrals. So referrals allow my students to promote my course to other people and in exchange they get uh, a reward. They're single-use discounts that can be used towards another purchase. So I could say if they refer users to my school that they can get uh, a coupon for a specific percentage back. So if I want to add in custom code, I can use this to do things like add tracking pixels. So you can use this to inject custom HTML, CSS, and JavaScript into lessons. So this is different than the code example block because you won't see this code. You'll This will just be embedded. The code will actually be rendered within the lesson. The other thing I can add are, I can add a Zoom event. So if I connect my Zoom account, I can add a live event within the lesson. Some other settings for you to know about, you can add student comments here. If I add comments, then students will be able to comment on the lesson and other students will be able to see. I can also choose to make this a public preview, which means that anybody who has the link can then open and see the lesson. So this might be something you want to do for the first lesson in your course so that students who are thinking about buying it can have a chance to see what the experience is looking at a lesson. You can also turn this off. And when I'm all done and I'm happy with my lesson, I'm going to hit publish. And now I'm going to preview. And again, I can see all of the content that I've added in here. I can see my upsell there. I can see comments. I can leave a comment. Great. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the lesson editor. If you ever want to get rid of a lesson, you can just scroll down to the bottom and delete it. Just be sure that if you delete a lesson, you aren't able to get it back. And when you're satisfied with your lesson, you can go back to your curriculum. You can go and edit other lessons or you could add another new lesson. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.